All right, guys, so tonight I want to work on uh, lockdown escape. We are actually going to escape out of lockdown and get into reverse half guard, which is one of my favorite paths to actually get through the half guard, going into reverse half guard instead of lockdown. So the first thing we need to work on is actually getting out of lockdown. So this is a difficult position to get out of. One of my favorite ways to get out of this, I actually did a video on this not too long ago, where uh, if I'm here and I'm getting pulled into half guard and I feel that he's setting up lockdown, I can kick my foot out and then bring it around really quick. If Donovan is fast and he's better than I am and he catches me in lockdown and goes ahead and extends, when we stay my hips flat up against his hips, turned into him like this, that becomes very difficult to do. I can free my foot. Freeing the foot isn't necessarily a problem, it's getting away from him that becomes a problem. I can usually hamstring curl and get my foot off of his foot, and then I can kick it out to the side. But you see how far away from his butt my foot is. If he just fishes with that foot, he can go right back under the ankle and he can pop it back out. Especially if you've got somebody with really dexterous legs and is really good at lockdown, it's pretty easy for them to pull you back in over and over again. So to combat that, we're gonna turn into reverse half guard. So, we're gonna start right here in lockdown. He's got me locked down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my knee that's on the outside. I'm going to drive it into his hip. I'll give you guys another angle here in just a second. But I'm gonna drive it into the side of his hip. And then this hand is going to shoot through his armpit as I turn my hips to the side. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually taking my left hip and I'm digging it into his body. This arm ideally is gonna be coming back into Donovan's armpit to keep him back. And then this hand is very important. I need to keep my elbow locked down in my ribs. If I leave hole here and I drift it back, that's where Donovan starts grabbing a cross wrist and starts pulling me back and then horrible, terrible things happen from there. But making this turn into reverse half guard does a couple things. First of all, it gives me a lot of pressure down in his ribs. And so this is not comfortable for the guy on bottom. But also, if you'll notice, we were here and my foot was straight up and down just a minute ago. Now that we have turned towards reverse half guard, when I kick, I'm gonna go straight out and I can plant there and then walk with my foot up towards Donovan's butt. Once I get my ankle up against his butt, there's no longer any room for him to fish this out. If it's out here, he can get me back. Drop, foot walk, and then get up to his butt, and then I'm locking in place here. Down leg is pinching up against his hip, but I've got my foot out back here. And the reason that I'm doing this is because his best counter at this point when I'm in reverse half guard is to take me that way by a bridge. If he can get that cross wrist in place over here, take me back which I go. This foot turning back like this helps to prevent that and helps to keep him from pushing me back. Okay, so this is what I want to work. First of all, let's uh, do a different angle. So Donovan's got me in the lockdown, stretch me out. This foot, this leg is going to pinch tight against his hip. Swim and turn. And then once I get here, slight hamstring curl, kick, and then walk till I get that up to his butt. And then I'm pinching all of this together. Ideally, what should be on the ground right now is my, my knee and my foot, and then a little bit of elbow back here, but most of my body weight is actually resting on top of his ribs at this point and putting a lot of pressure down on top of him. So I'm out of lockdown and I'm into reverse half guard. And then we're going to start working a little bit of offense from here. All right, so he's got me in lockdown. And I'll, we'll walk through this with you as well to make sure you understand how to do lockdown. But he's got me in lockdown, outside leg, pinches at the hip, far arm shoots through at the armpit, turn to reverse half guard, track leg, hamstring curls back, and then it's going to kick out to the mat. As soon as it hits the mat, I start walking my foot up, 
until we get to his butt. Pinch your knees together, and I've got him crunched up, his elbow in tight so he can't cross wrist me, and pinch him in tight. That's reverse half guard, and then we're going to start working some offense from there. Questions? All right, let's give that a try. One, two, three. Troubleshooting, one part of that that I'm seeing from you guys, uh, different people were dropping in different ways. You don't want your weight to be on the floor. So if I slide through and I turn and I'm sitting down here, all my body weight's on the floor and this is comfortable for him. How's this feel? Mm, like a chill. Yeah, there's, there's nothing going on. He, there's no problem for him at all. If I lean all the way over here when I make the turn, I've got a little bit more weight on him, but I have so much body weight extended this way. There's back takes that he can do from here. There's all kinds of stuff. I can't maintain my balance over top of it. Okay, so when I make the turn, this hand ideally is gonna shoot through right at the armpit so that I can make my turn. Shoot, jam into his hip, and then I'm sitting with my body weight right across the wrist. How's that feel? Not good. Yeah, you, you're, you should have difficulty breathing if you're the guy on bottom when you do this, okay? And then hamstring curl, kick out, and then move it up to his butt. So that's the first transition. 